When I was a little girl and I used to be upset about something or down or whatever, I used to always sing to myself and I always had my music and it really helped me to get through. And um, my mother always told me if I believed in myself that I could do anything or be anything that I wanted to be. And I think that if you remember that, it'll really help you to realize all your dreams. Look inside your heart 
person I enjoy working with her. She's oh, yeah. a consummate professional. Yeah. She treats us like people. Thank right. you. Right. She and treats she us like people. Is. She's an employer. Right. Yeah. But she knows what it is. Right. She's, she's a singer. vocalist. She's a singer. She's a singer. Yeah. She's a singer. Yeah. She's a singer. Yeah. And it's yeah. very singer. important, you know. Yeah. And most people, so if you really, if they know that you know her, they'll say, that's something in the studio no, it's engineering, not. This right? Is she doesn't do that. This is Mariah. But she fooled all of y'all. You we know heard Mariah. Her. I was looking at she her. I had you. to turn around and look at her like this. Look down at the was like, I'm <laughs> always saying. Baby, now you just can't see that there'll ever come a time when you're cold and lonely. Baby, how could you ever believe that another could replace me, the one and the only? But when you're down in your time of need and you're thinking how you might be coming back to own me, just think again, cause I won't need your love anymore. You were so blind to let me go. You had it all, but you didn't know. Closer to all your dreams than me But leaving the grass would be greener You told yourself I just don't need her now 
mommy and my very good friend. And she taught me how to sing. She taught me how to harmonize. I guess when she was about four years old, mm -hmm. um, she really showed an interest in singing. In fact, she never stopped singing. Ever since I can remember, I've been singing. Right. In fact, I think that you sang commercials when you were four years old. Yeah. <laughs> she would watch TV, but when the program came off on, she would stop watching. But when the commercials came on, you started singing. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that Mariah uh, was a born singer. I think that there are people who are gifted. And, uh, but the training certainly helped her with her range and her technique. If I didn't really have that in me to believe that, you know, I could be something, then, then I wouldn't be here today. And I know that's why a lot of people just give up on their dreams, because nobody ever supported them growing up. And that's really where the song Make It Happen came from. So, thank you, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> really, you guys mean so much to me. And if you back up a little bit, I'm going to come down and sing a little song to you, tell you a little story. <laughs>
when I'm writing the lyrics for my songs, I love going up to the country. It's great to just be able to escape from the city and actually breathe air instead of being cooped up all the time. I love riding horses and playing with my dogs and just being outside, being in nature. It's really inspiring for me. to believe. 
It's really great that I've been able to keep some of the same friends that I had before all this happened to me because they know me, the person, not just me, the singer. So I think that really helps to keep me more grounded. This is, like, can you like get this out on the thing? Just spread it out a little bit? No, you want to eat this? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, no, wait, I'm not putting on this. Spread it out a little bit, like all over. <laughs> My friends Jennifer and Josephine and I tried to make pizza for all the people who helped us out with the special, but as you can see, it didn't turn out too well. <laughs> I have to work so hard most of the time. Sometimes I just need to have fun and let go. This is another new song for my new album called Anytime You Need a Friend. I just want to dedicate it to everybody here tonight. Thank you for coming.
One thing of macaroni for a week, that would be our food. When I first got out of high school, I shared an apartment in Manhattan with my friend Josephine. You have no idea what happened in this place. Everything happened. Okay, we had a fire. A fire? <laughs> Remember the flood? We had a flood. That was too worse. The flood Even though it was really hard and I struggled a lot, looking back, I realized it was a very creative time period for me. Jennifer and I have been friends for a long time. In high school, she was one of the only people who knew what I wanted to do. I didn't want to be one of those people that like bragged about it and then nothing ever happened. I was working while I was in high school. I was like recording while I was in high school. I did a lot of background vocals before I got my record deal, and that's when I first met Cindy. I met you when you were right out of high school, right at the session. Yeah, I came to that session that you were doing. It was like one of my first sessions. I was so shy. I was. She's so talented, and it's really great that we can still work together. Like, what's you better eat something? My stomach growling. Yeah, my stomach was growling. She's like, oh, you.
Christmas time, I like to go down to the Police Athletic League and spend some time with the inner city kids, just hanging out and singing Christmas carols. It's great to be able to give something back.
did. <laughs> it's on the screen. It's on the screen. I'm going to give mine to Sperber. Because I dropped it. You're going to have to do it again. Peace, everybody. <laughs> I just think that she's such an incredible performer that, I mean, vocally, I don't think any of us have probably worked with any other male or female right. that's been that dynamic of a performer, you know? And we'd be playing like on one of the shows, and I'm wearing headphones and playing, I'm thinking, man, this is like being at home, you know, listening to listening a CD. To the song. It's right. just amazing. It's that good, right? And it, it is just, it's incredible, and yeah. it, she, it just sounds amazing, always. Right. Plus, the most important thing is she's got a band that can play all the stuff. Even when we were filming, though, at times, yeah. it, it got so late, she was sleeping on the piano. Right, and still killing right. And I say, okay, here we go, 10 seconds. Right. She'd get up right. and She'd just nail the song. Right. Yeah. She loves well, it that yeah. much, which is yeah. really cool. Really yeah. And the band's really good. And the band. <laughs> and the band. The band. Right. It's an amazing thing. I usually come up with a melody first, or if I'm collaborating with someone, um, they'll start playing some chord changes, I'll sing a melody over it, we'll go back and forth until it ends, and work with the arrangement until it ends up being the actual song. Then I take the tape home and I write the lyrics. I can't imagine just having someone hand me a song and saying, okay, sing this, and uh, record it on your album, and then leave and go home. I feel like I have this inside me that I love writing songs. I love contributing to what I'm singing. And Walter and I have developed this thing where he really knows what I'm talking about. I, and I pick up on, on her ideas mm -hmm. pretty quickly over the last couple mm -hmm. of years we've developed. The I like sing him the harmonies and things that I'm hearing, and he just plays. And I, and I just have to keep playing ideas, and then we'll click. It's like, you know, sort of like uh, uh, we fall into a pattern or, or, mm -hmm. or a rhythm. And it becomes uh, a little easier with every step, but then sooner or later we're writing a song. It's pretty profound, the, the meaning that her songs have. I mean, they're so, there's so much force behind them. I mean, it's not just, oh, you got a song in the mail and somebody wants you to He's cut it. He's just being nice to me today, no. usually now. <laughs> It's really different working with Colin Cavillis than working with Walter because they just have entirely different ways of working and personalities. It sort of came around, you know, we just decided we were going to make this slam, you know, so we decided to make it slam, you know. So when I go from one situation to the next, it's like a total um, different scene. Then after it was slamming, it was slamming, you know, that's what we did. I like having the best of both worlds because um, you know, when I work with David and Robert, I get a different vibe and a different style of record than when I work with Walter. But both of them are really important to um, getting that side of me across. We are from the streets, and, you know, that's the element that we'd like to bring to the package. And Mariah is kind of cool because she's able to handle both of them very, very, very well. You know, it's not like when she does the street stuff, it doesn't come across like, wow, well, why is she doing that? It comes across like, this belongs to her, you know, and that's kind of cool. I had a lot of fun doing the video for Dream Lover because we did it upstate New York by where we have a house up there, and it was just so much better than doing a video in a studio or creating some fake kind of scenario like you always have to do with videos. It was fun, everything in the video I had a great time doing. I was swimming, I love swimming, so I love doing that. I mean, some things weren't that fun. The, the waterfall that I was swimming in was very cold, and uh, the director actually jumped in because I wouldn't jump in, so she said, I'm gonna jump in, and if I jump in, you have to jump in, so she jumped in the water too, and it was fun. My dog, Jack, was swimming with me. <laughs> He's like crazy, you can't keep him out of the water. 
So I was swimming and he just jumped in, so we kept it in the video. We had a lot of crazy things going on because I went up in a hot air balloon and they didn't want to let me go up because the wind was too high and I was like, I'm going. And so everybody was a little bit nervous about a few things. I just wanted to do something really light and really, um, you know, not taking it so seriously. There's not really one specific inspiration for the song Hero, but the basic theme is looking inside yourself, you know, being your own role model.